hey everyone and welcome back to another video from coco's cosmology and in today's video we are going to be doing a pick a card reading ah! and this pick a card reading is going to be about what are you guys releasing during the full moon in cancer mm -hmm. yeah all right so the piles are as follows group number one group number two, and group number three, all right? So what I'm going to do, like I do always, is kind of pause and let you guys meditate on which pile you would like to choose, and then we're going to do a live shuffle on what you guys are releasing during the full moon in Cancer. reading hmm. what should group number one be releasing during the full moon in cancer what have they been thinking about releasing what do they need to release clarifications does group number one need to release during the full moon in Cancer? What is needed to be released during the full moon in Cancer for group number one? Mm -hmm. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. The back of deck energy is the Knight of Cups. Okay? I'm going to put the back of deck energy right here. Now, with the Knight of Cups being the back of deck energy, I feel like for a lot of you guys, what you're needing to release is this there's like a superficial romance with someone that you may be in a relationship with or this superficial um desire with this person you know and i feel like with the knight of wands energy being in reverse it's like you're trying to force something it's time to release it with the ace of pentacles being in reverse um a poor investment you know, investing yourselves. And this could be friendships for a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys may have been thinking like, yes, this person is probably really cool. You know, they're really popular. Or I just don't want people to know that we're not cool anymore, that we're not friends anymore. But deep down inside, you know, they're not giving you 
uh, the attention or the love that you deserve. With the Wheel of Fortune being in reverse, supporting the Knight of Wands in reverse, it's saying that a lot of you guys are resisting this change, knowing that this friendship or this relationship will no longer last. And for a lot of you guys, this doesn't have to be your romantic relationship because a lot of you guys, your romantic relationship is going really well. Things are just fine. It's just like some toxic things in your lives. You know, the relationship that you may have with uh, food, the relationship that you may have with people at your job, you know, different types of relationships. You get what I'm saying? So this is very broad. You know, you watching TV all the time more than usual. You know, it's time to break that relationship up. And a lot of you guys are not ready to part ways with that relationship. With the two of wands being in reverse, you guys, and I'm going to shuffle through as well with the two of wands being in reverse a lot of you guys are feeling the need to be indecisive but you already know what it is that you should be doing you know during this time so supporting that we have the king of swords and with the king of swords i feel like at the end of it all at the end of all of this pulling through with this cancer energy coming through, the emotions are coming out, especially with this Knight of Cups energy being the back of deck energy, you guys are going to realize, you know what? I know I deserve more. I'm going to ask for what I deserve. I'm going to be professional about it. I'm going to use discernment as I should, as always, to make better decisions for myself. We have the Page of Pentacles supporting this Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like this investment, this bad investment in to, you know, people who do not see the best for you, the people who are not trying to elevate in your life or make life easier or better for you. They're just trying to take from you, you know, and that's just like the bad habits with, you know, junk food, uh, not exercising, watching TV all the time on the couch, just chilling, you know, those toxic things with this page of pentacles energy is letting you know that once you let go of the toxic things in your life, during this cancer full moon you will be able to reap the good benefits you will be able to reap the rewards of the page of pentacles you know you may get good news about money you may be hearing about getting a raise you may be finding out that um you're making more money than what you did two months ago you know what i'm saying this raise may really be the jump off for you all because you cut out some bad habits you guys also do have the ten of pentacles that's in reverse now once you get this raise please do not go out telling people that are in your family in particular or friends that you may call um your family because you know there may be some money issues that comes up or people may be asking you for a little bit more because they think you got it just because of this race. You know, it could cause issues and problems with your family. With the five of wands being in reverse, I do see you guys ignoring that BS and not paying it any attention. So overall, what I can see for you guys, you'll mainly be um, releasing toxic traits. Um, toxic routines and developing new routines that is going to help you um, elevate all right so let's get into the black moon astrology cards so we can see mm, see black moon astrology cards came out with this abundance energy with Jupiter so let's get into it all right let's talk about Jupiter abundance number seven all right. The lips of the wise are as the doors of a cabinet. No sooner are they opened, but treasures are poured out before thee by Akhenaten. Expect doors to swing open. By far the largest and most magnanimous of all of the heavenly bodies in our solar system. In the Roman Pantheon, Jupiter was referred to as the king of all gods. Jupiter corresponds to the Greek Zeus and to as the king 
and the Norse god Odin. Because Jupiter is so vast and expansive, this planet is the gate opener for better luck. The earlier Greeks called the planet Jupiter Pathanon, which meant the brightest star. Because of Jupiter's immensity, it is one of the largest planets to see with the naked eye. As the ruler of Sagittarius, the centaur, Jupiter has a dual role of being half human and half beast. The planet Jupiter casts off more heat than it takes from the sun. And thusly, this giant planet is one of the generosity and joyfulness. In astrology, it is the great benefit, the soother of hurts and bruises, and promises a period of good fortune when hard luck is coming to an end. Similar to Saturn, Jupiter can represent the father and what you have inherited from your father. When the energy of Jupiter enters your reading, you can be assured luck is on your side and fortune shines on you. You are being given not only a gift, but also a lift. If not divine help, blocks are being removed. As you wield influence through your own positivity and goodwill, this is certainly an astrological break. Lucky break. But you won't be able to kick back and rest on your laurels. Instead, you will be required to attend to what you set into place and keep the positivity and attention flowing. So this is why I was talking about, you know, releasing those toxic traits, toxic routines, and developing new ones that actually work. Instead, you will re be required to attend to what you set in place and keep the positivity and attention flowing. You must continue to nurture the energies to the projects or events you have started. Otherwise, they could fall into a entropy or decay. When it has started, when it comes to providence and fortune, there's always a payment due, some toil or sacrifice on your part. So keep this in mind. You are on your way. You don't neglect things or become lax in your endeavors, which are traits of Jupiter as well, meaning the possibility of taking important matters for granted. Because Jupiter can make you feel happy and complacent, you may have to watch out for your weight gain and for other ways you indulge yourself in others. And this is what I was talking about, you know, those toxic routines, you know, the relationship that you have with um, money, the relationship that you have with food, you know, don't overindulge in those things. All right. It is important to keep a watchful eye and not skim over the details in any matter. Since Jupiter is strongly tied to the law and ideas of fairness, you may find your opinions and convictions rather strong at the present time. Jupiter is represented by largesty, so try not to become overbearing at this attitude could sabotage all you have worked for. If you feel at the moment you are in a dark period of time and you have drawn the Jupiter card, be assured Blessings are on their way. Doors are opening with generosity and in faith. It is time to walk through them. The Jupiter card takes a positive spin to any reading. Keep this in mind regardless of the surrounding cards. So it doesn't matter what's surrounding you, you know, positive energy, love, joy is coming to surround you, coming to support you during this time. All right. So let's pull a love oracle card. We're just going to pull one. What does root number one need to know about love during this full moon in Cancer? Yes, this is your soulmate. It's what's coming out. So for a lot of you guys, you know, this is just a part of the battle. This is just a part of the journey when it comes to love. You know, and soulmate, this is just, you know, the person that you may be dealing with now, you know. So let's get into the numerology cards. Number 56, relationship change. So your relationships with people is going to change most definitely because you guys are not going to be dealing with toxic energy anymore. Number 74, nature. A lot of you guys are going to be diving deeper into nature lately, uh, thinking more about being grounded, doing things that make more sense into your life. Let's see what energies are surrounding you guys during this Cancer full moon. Okay, so we have believe in the impossible.
meditate and contemplate all right so that's the new moon in pisces show the world the real you full moon in aquarius so it's time it's time to show the world the real you but start working on those kinks um to make things a little bit better we're going to do some positive affirmations um, to get this over with for group number one. All right. All right. And your positive affirmation for today is I release all criticism. I release all criticism. I only give out that which I wish to receive in return. My love and acceptance of others is mirrored to me in every moment. I only give out that which I wish to receive in return. My love and acceptance of others is mirrored to me in every moment. All right. There you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Hey. All right. Hey, everyone that chose group number two. Let's go ahead and get right into you guys' reading. All right. What should group number two be releasing? For the full moon in Cancer, what have they been thinking about releasing? What is needed to be released? What are they being called to release for group number two? Let's look at the back of deck energy real quick. Ooh, the devil card. You guys need to release temptation. Fear. You need to release temptation and fear. Start this off. Five of Cups energy. You have the Six of Wands in reverse. Mm, you guys. What are you scared of? Ooh. Just got the message. A lot of you guys are scared to be alone. With this Five of Cups energy here. It's time to release loneliness. Not feeling accepted. It's time to release it so that you can receive love and acceptance. Some of you guys have been fearing about being alone, not having someone to lean on, feeling like you can't make it. Feeling like you're the only person that supports yourself. No one has your back, so to speak. For a lot of you guys, at the end of the day, you feel like all you have is you. And um, that's just like our Cancer reading for the weekly predictions. Aries reading for the weekly predictions. A lot of you guys may be of those signs. What's supporting the Five of Cups? Nine of Cups in reverse. A lot of you guys need to release this energy of feeling like you're not accepted. Feeling like people don't recognize you for the things that you do. Feeling like an outcast. 
the knight of wands in reverse this aggression needs to be released this anger it's time for you guys to really start your healing journey during this full moon in cancer january 17th for real start on it eight of pentacles in reverse a lot of you guys ooh. I'm not telling you guys to quit your job, but it has a lot to do with your job. A lot of you guys feel like you're not fulfilling your purpose because you are still working this job. You may feel like, okay, you know, I'm learning a few things, you know, it's, it's teaching me something, but it's not getting me where I want to be. A lot of you guys are feeling like you're still walking in the same place. It's time to write those things down and release that energy off of you. It's really weighing you down mentally. A lot of you guys may have been more tired lately because of this anxiety, because of this pressure that has been on your shoulders. You've probably been going to sleep earlier than what you usually do. Supporting that six of wands in reverse is the seven of wands in reverse. A lot of you guys are losing the faith. During this full moon in Cancer, I need you guys to journal. I need you to get some things off of your chest to allow you to be able to release these things off of you. This negative energy that's putting you in this Five of Cups energy of feeling down and feeling lonely. The Ten of Cups is even in reverse. So a lot of you guys are feeling like you're not fulfilling your purpose. You're never going to be happy. Nine of Pentacles is here to let you know this is a part of your journey. You are going to step into your reality. You're going to step into your purpose. Your emotions are holding you back and that's something that we need to work on. That's something that we need to release. There's some healing that needs to be worked on during this full moon in Cancer. All right? So let's go ahead and get into the Black Moon Astrology card so we can see um, what you guys need to know for this full moon in Cancer. Mm, Mercury Retrograde reinvention so there's definitely going to be some changes in your life especially mercury retrograde is actually happening right now you guys for real for real so let's get into it number 51 mercury retrograde reinvention mishaps are like knives that either serve us or cut us as we grasp them by the blade or by the handle mercury retrograde is regarded as a time when things tend to go wrong. In actuality, it marks a three and a half week period where any important action should be postponed. About three or four times a year, Mercury goes through a motion called retrograde, which means to go back or retreat. But although Mercury, the planet of slippery wit, fluency and adaptability, this inner planet is so close to the sun. Appears to be going backwards, it's not. The retrograde movement of a planet is just an illusion because the Earth is orbiting the Sun at a different speed than Mercury and other planets still from an astrological point of view. Planets in retrograde motion cause potent effects on the Earth below. No planet goes retrograde as often as Mercury because it is never more than 28 degrees from the Sun. And because of this, it has given us the dubious phase that when something goes awry, many explain Mercury must be retrograde. Mercury isn't a predictable planet. Going all along is normal direct path anyway. But once it goes retrograde, it's akin to trying to drive a car backwards. All things ruled by Mercury suddenly begin to wobble and go off kilter. However, if you are a writer, when Mercury is retrograde, it's the perfect time to revise your writings. Mercury is the counterpart of Hermes, the Greek Olympian god, the sly trickster, who is not only big on pranks but also false moves. He is the god of transitions, roads, and boundaries. The way the very name Hermes has to do with speech and implies he is a translator. Mercury as Hermes conveys information. When that information comes to us wrongly because of Mercury's unpredictable retrograde motion, nothing seems to go right. 
Firstly, when this card comes up in a reading, back up all of your equipment, your computers, cell phone numbers, and address book, and anything to do with technology or me mechanics. Electrical appliances purchased at this time may end up needing to be returned. Any sale items will often turn out to the mass of duds. Don't make the mistake of purchasing a vehicle at this time. Either if you are to have your vehicle repaired, expect making another visit to the shop to have something revised or corrected. How long will this period last when the Mercury Retrograde card comes up? Give the matter one week and then ask the same question after that week. You will want to carefully go over any contract you sign and check any email or letter you send. If you are about to leave on a trip, leave early because you must expect unusual delays to occur. And make sure you have clothing for all types of weather because the temperature and conditions are likely to change. Mundane matters aside, retrograde planets are said to be more empathetic. And that means that strangely, we are more silently and internally keyed in to these energies. This causes unusual and faded meetings and occurrences to happen. You may meet up with someone you haven't seen in years at a most unexpected place. You may have a conversation with someone with whom you only have a superficial relationship with, when suddenly you connect to that person causing a much deeper rapper. If you are asking about the strength, strengthening of a relationship, this is not a good time to get married, but it is an excellent time to renew your vows. It is not a good time to initiate a divorce or end a relationship though, considering how soon Mercury moves forward again. Because if you do, then the relationship will soon move forward again too. If you are feeling hopelessness and worried that a relationship is never going to work, the Mercury retrograde card is actually a good one to turn up in a reading. It means there is more than what you know about the situation at the current time, period. <laughs> and that the possibility of the relationship getting on its legs and moving ahead is very likely. It is also a futurist time to connect with a lover from the past. It is a time to revise, reinvent, and renew. This is a great time, like I was saying, you know, although you're going through these emotions, thinking about quitting your job, like feeling left out, feeling like people don't really acknowledge you or see the work that you do, um, not being courageous anymore, not receiving those encouraging messages, or, you know, feeling like you're alone. This Nine of Pentacles energy does hold weight and it's letting you know that this is a part of your journey. You are stepping into your prosperity and with this Mercury Retrograde card coming out, it is letting us know that this is a part of the journey. So I'm going to pull a Love Oracle card for you guys, group number two. What does group number two need to hear about love right now? For a lot of you guys, it's time for you to release your eggs. The time has come to clear your energy. It's time to clear your energy from your eggs. If a lot of you guys are still attached to your eggs, trying to be with your eggs, you know, it's time to release that. And in the Mercury Retrograde card, it did come out and say that you guys, you know, um, may be speaking with someone, you know, from your past or an ex. All right, so let's get into the numerology cards so we can see what you guys should mainly be focusing on during this time. And the first card to come out is number 87, synchronicity. So what brings you balance in your life and in your relationships with people? You guys also have number 96, which is forgiveness, okay? So forgiving people, moving forward, and doing what causes, you know, balance in your life. What makes you feel whole again? Let's get into the Moonology card so we can see what energies are surrounding you guys. We have emotions are running high. Yes, especially with this full moon in Cancer energy.
get two more cards. We have bring love into the situation, which is the new moon in Aquarius. Ooh, can't wait till the new moon in Aquarius gets here. And then we have have faith in your dreams, waxing crescent moon. So yeah, the, your emotions are going to be running high. Have faith in what your dreams are, especially when it's popping out right next to the nine of pentacles. Start bringing more love into your situations. All right, let's get a positive affirmation card for group number two. What do they need to hear this positive affirmation? If you're moving crazy. Okay, this is the one. My life is a mirror. My life is a mirror. All right, the people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. The people in my life are really mirrors of me. This affords me the opportunity to grow and change. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading group number two. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave comments down below. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. All right, hey everyone that chose group number three, let's go ahead and get into your reading for the full moon in Cancer. What are you guys needing to release? Yes, let's get into it. What is group number three <clears throat> needing to release for the full moon in Cancer? What is group number three needing to release for the full moon in Cancer? Two of Swords, indecisiveness already. <laughs> indecisiveness. What are you guys feeling indecisive about during this time? What is causing you anxiety right now? What is making you feel like you're not whole? What is complicating you? That's some of the messages I'm feeling right now for some of you guys. Some questions you need to answer. What does group number three need to release right now? All right. Let's do this. Oh, let's get the back of deck. Let's get the back of deck energy. Nine of Wands is in reverse. Putting your guard down. We have the Empress in reverse. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So, clear message here. A lot of you guys are, you know, neglecting your self-care neglecting you know your appearance how you feel about yourself or other people especially with this empress card you're not thinking about the beauty a lot of you guys are you know just trying to focus on being raw and real a lot of you guys are releasing this like beauty standard this beauty mindset and being more of your like authentic self not saying that your authentic self is not beautiful but saying that you guys are releasing that standard, you know, that society has from your mind and having, you know, a different standard of yourself about being your authentic self. Also, with this Ace of Swords energy, I do see some like delayed success. So let's talk about the Empress here. Supporting the Empress here is that we need to start listening to our intuition and no longer ignoring our intuition. Also supporting the Empress, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you guys are going to be releasing codependency, um, people being codependent of you, always needing you, always needing your help. Um, also, I'm not talking about y'all children. <laughs> 
but you know with the codependency like people always needing you or always asking you for money i feel like you guys are going to be releasing that and putting that into you know the universe hey i'm, I'm done you know always helping people i'm always you know i'm done being there for people who cannot reciprocate the energy back to me you have the ace of wands so this is you know this is something when it comes to your intuition and when it comes to codependency and people depending on you all the time i feel like releasing that is definitely going to be successful especially with this ace of wands energy this is all about success and starting something new um new projects as well supporting this ace of swords is the eight of swords so with with some new things another new thing that you're you know releasing is like anxiety you know that's something that you need to release you know always thinking too hard about something a lot of you guys may be air signs that chose this pile because sometimes air signs will overthink a situation and it's not really going on is not really happening with the eight of wands being in reverse there may be some miscommunication that may be going on in your mind causing you to feel like you're not good enough or that this isn't a part of your purpose or you're being stagnant you know your mind is really like beating up on you at this point and then you guys have the knight of pentacles in reverse so this is all about somebody who is you know kind of like mismanaging their money needs to pay attention to how they're spending their money so overall what i can see group number three is what you guys are needing to release is this beauty standard, this standard of what beauty should be, this codependency, people always depending on you. And I'm also seeing like this anxiety that's always taking over your mind. It's time to release that from having power over you because it's time for you to take your power back and start saying those positive affirmations to yourself. And when we get to the end of the reading, we are going to pull a positive affirmation card for you guys to like write down and, you know, keep for yourself so let's get into the black moon astrology card so we can see what you guys need to be listening to and you guys got two cards and we're going to read both of them so we have void of course moon which is missing and then we have number 11 pluto which is transformations so let's go ahead and get into that real quick all right number 52 i think this is the last one Word of course moon missing the moon is a friend for the lonesome to talk to all is not as it seems the void of course moon can be daunting it may not be a good or appropriate time to answer your question as it is now the result may not be what you want what is a void of course moon the moon travels through the entire zodiac in 27 and a half days there is a moment when the moon makes its last major aspect before leaving one sign and entering the next it's as if the moon has gone to sleep her wisdom is entering the next it's as if the moon has gone to <laughs> i just read that again her wisdom is being withheld until she moves into a new sign and the moon begins a new chapter or story the usual axiom for starting things on a void of course moon is nothing will come of this matter matters will go not go as you planned in fact most of the time it will end up far worse than you planned you have been caught blissfully unaware you missed something or you weren't paying close enough attention but you won't be able to set the situation right at the current time this card says to sit still and stay as you are take no action at the current time wait for the storm to pass over it is time to be patient and allow matters to settle before beginning anew allow this matter to resolve on its own without your help work or interference don't bail anyone out or make loans currently because it is unlikely you will be repaid. Medical results will probably not be accurate. If your question is about a job or career move, then it's not the right one. If you apply for a job and get hired, it will not be long lasting. It's possible you will get hired and then a more suitable job will come along and you will have to leave the first one. After a long and costly effort, your matter in question may fail. People around you may start behaving like screw-ups. 
It could be that great passions are playing against you. Discipline is needed. It's not a time to act impulsively. Whatever you do as your routine will stay as it is. However, matters that are unplanned or spontaneous will tend to work out for you. A void of course moon can be used to your benefit, so keep this in mind when this card shows up in a spread. For instance, you can work on something you really don't want. You can interact with persons you don't really want to become a fixture in your life. Embarking on anything new or untried will tend to go wrong. In other words, when the Void of Course Moon card presents itself in a spread, if you agree to plans you don't really want to come about, then it will be very likely they will not come about. However, meditation and any type of psychic or spiritual efforts will work out better than the Void of Course Moon card turns up. It's a good time to dream and even make plans, just not to act on them. Also, do not plan a wedding if this card comes up. Keep in mind the time is not right. So this is a time, you know, where you guys may be getting some, you know, genius downloads with this full moon in Cancer. Um, and it's not saying that it's time to act on it, but it is time to release some of those negative aspects that you are feeling during this time. So with number 11, with Pluto transformation, people living deeply have no fear of death. Pluto, the smallest and outermost planet in our solar system, probably carries the most weight. It is the planet of extremes. Birth, sex, and death are Pluto's themes. In Greek legend, Pluto was the god of the underworld. His earlier name, Hades, came to designate the dwelling place for the dead. The name Hades means the unseen and is a good description of the energies of Pluto, which tend to transform areas of astrological chart without us knowing into without us knowing until the explosion or blowout. Pluto was discovered in 1930 and although it is now considered a dwarf planet, transits from Pluto are extremely powerful and bring on significant life changes. In traditional astrology, Pluto is the higher octave of Mars, but has some similarities to Saturn, which is also a force of oppression. Pluto governs renewal and rebirth. It brings to the surface things that have been hidden or are felt deep inside. These are sometimes painful to confront or they are embarrassing or taboo. This dwarf planet tends to inspire unwelcome surprises. Pluto can be like a tire collapsing in your life, a life from which you must rebuild from debris and also inspiration. Many things you have relied upon for always being there are, may suddenly disappear or leave. Most than anything else, Pluto represents endings and beginnings. It is not a card of physical death per se. Since in our lifetimes we experience a card of physical death, we experience many deaths and new starts. This is simply a time when the decks are being wiped clean for new action. Most of the time you begin to feel ill at ease with the feeling of something not right and things go down strangely in an eerie silence like the Titanic. If you are in a relationship that is being difficult, it is either in, it will either end or it will deepen and become more fulfilling. Any romance that starts at this time should prove to be intense. It is very important not to try and control things. Instead, surrender to the ups and downs for a while, although some of these things, these changes may be painful ones. That said, this is a time of intense sexuality. It may come in various forms, great sex, not enough sex, strange sex, but most likely intense and consuming sex. It turns of job, of career, it may be time to get another. When the Pluto card presents itself in a reading, you may have recently been infatuated with a hidden subject, certain mysteries, or the taboo. This could be a time when you are able to sense and feel spirits around you. Sometimes this card can indicate psychic attacks and thus you should be very careful when you open up to be cautious if you are involved in anything paranormal or occult in nature. You are not particularly vulnerable. In fact, your strength is growing, but it is important at this point in time to spiritually connect yourself and protect yourself from anything negative such as vampire types of people or lost spirits. You may become upset concerning something about your past that turns out to be what you always thought. 
On a more mundane level, you may have to be more careful with your finances, taxes, and inheritance, especially. You might have the opportunity to suddenly move to a new home, but be aware of the foundation, water, or sewer problems, and also the possibility that the house might be haunted. Think of Pluto as leftover things that tend to languish in a state of decay or decadence, but more positively rejuvenated healing and birth. All right, so this is the time of transformation. This is the transformational part of your life. Although you're going through things, it's not time for you to make that solid decision, make that solid foundation, but write those things down and overcome it. Let's see what you guys should mainly be. For, ooh, let me pull the love oracle card for you guys before we see what you guys should mainly be focusing on. You guys will be having heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your partner or with people that you are friends with. This is honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So this is what's going to be going on during this full moon in Cancer or something that you're needing to do. What should they be focusing on for group number three for this full moon in Cancer? We have domestic harmony, and yes, we've got to read domestic harmony. It has a lot to do, you know, with relationships. All right, and then we have number 63, parenting. So, you know, you guys are really going to be focusing on parenting um, your children. If you have children, if you don't have children, you may be concerned about other people's children who are close to you, like nieces and nephews and things of that nature. So let's talk about domestic harmony. This card indicates a time of healing your relationships in your true home. This may relate to a troubled relationship with a child, a family member, an ex, or a current partner, house guest, or roommate. It could even relate to problems you have had with the actual house itself. Either way, this card has been sent to advise you that your difficulties are being resolved and domestic happiness is within your reach. This card can indicate a time to make a commitment to your present relationship by declaring your love and desire to take things to the next level. It can also reveal a need to commit to your present residence by extending your lease, deciding not to sell, or making the necessary improvements to turn it into your perfect home. Regardless, this card is encouraging you to make a commitment rather than walk away. In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythms and cycles of your life, cycles that are leading you toward domestic harmony and peace. Remember, there is no such thing as the perfect relationship, family, or home. Domestic harmony can only be achieved with effort, compassion, and compromise. By improving your relationships in your home, you will improve your quality of life. The affirmation is, I have happy, harmonious relationships within my happy, harmonious home. So yes, bringing that synchronicity and balance into your life during this time is really going to be key. Let's see what other energies are surrounding you guys during this full moon in Cancer. We have, what do you need to release? That anxiety, that Eight of Swords energy, that Eight of Wands energy, you know, the miscommunications. We have, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius, as well as meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces. All right, well, let's get a positive affirmation for you guys. There is plenty for everyone, including me. There is plenty for everyone, including me. The ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from everywhere and everyone and everything. The ocean of life is lavish with its abundance. All my needs and desires are met before I even ask. My good comes from everywhere and everyone and everything. 
All right, group number three, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please give it a thumbs up, leave comments down below, subscribe, and that notification bell so you guys won't ever miss an upload, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.